Long live Saddam! There he is. About time.
Stannis. This bill will replace our enlisted force with a profit-driven army. It's completely absurd. Is this true, Senator? Your bill would privatize the military? What Senator Whitehorse seems to be forgetting is that our enlisted forces just lost an aircraft carrier to terrorists. And that's not to mention all of the recent ambushes and unnecessary casualties. You see, war isn't what it used to be. The rules of engagement don't apply anymore. Time and time again, we've seen that private corporations are better and more adapted at handling this kind of threat. To put it simply, if the military isn't able to take care of business, we need someone who is. I talked to Section 8 and he thinks someone is leaking U.S. troop positions to our enemies. You gotta chill on the conspiracy theories, man. Well, he thinks it's coming from inside SSC. Must be the Illuminati. Abort, boys, abort. Make your way to the evac point now. A chopper's on the way. You've been reassigned to a new mission. This is a big one. We've found the constellation, 200 miles west of Manila Bay. The Philippine government thinks their navy can handle it, but the DOD thinks differently, which is why they hired us. Your mission is to take control of the ship from the terrorist hijackers. You'll parachute onto the carrier. Philip Clyde will be with you. What the? Clyde? Hell no! We're not working with him anymore! Hey, Dalton says it's a three-man job. You don't have a choice. You guys should touch down near the rear of the carrier, then make your way up to the control tower. These terrorists are with Abu Sayyaf, one of the most powerful terror organizations in the world. We don't know what Corpses back to Dalton. Look, we ain't any happier to be doing this with you than you are to be doing it with us. So let's just stay out of each other's hair and get this thing done. No problem, fucko. Fucko? Who says that? <laughs> 